Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will continue work with the Lumion. We will finish it today. We will do the, today the camera and video. So let's go straight away to the camera and let's choose the some key points. So first I'm changing the focal length because uh, I want it around from 25 to 35. So this is much better. And I will make like Q, K point view. Let's say this is, will be from the road, from the right side of from the my entrance and uh, try to make from the E level because uh, uh, the much understandable for the people when you're looking there from the eye level and not from the bird view. Bird view it's only to making like amazing. And we need now the filters. Uh, I don't have now any filters as you can see and the first filter what I will use this will be the sun of course because I want to um, rotate my sun to make it more realistic but before I will do that I will use the real skies yes this is able only in uh, new uh, lumen so if you don't have the lumen 9 and above so you cannot use the uh, real skies so let's uh, round uh, real skies and after that I will going back and now I need making my shadows more realistic so once you will turn it on as you can see it's becoming more better now I should uh, rotate my my sky because uh, this is sky actually this is HDR the sky so it means uh, the my sun going uh, like from the my sky so I just changing the position to create more and uh, nice view so what I want to uh, get I want to get a bit the shadows and I want to uh, concentrate light from the sun on the, my building. So this is the point because the human eye uh, always looking some key points. So that's why I'm trying to change uh, the uh, some maps uh, sk uh, real sky. Mm, trying to change and uh, trying to find a um, nice one and as you can see this is much better. We have the shadows, we have the lights. So let's go back and now we need Two point view. We are architects, and that's why we using always the two point view. As you can see, without two two, two point view, it's uh, a a bit uh, deformating. So that's why I'm using the two point view. Uh, it, it's becoming more realistic. After that, I just playing with the shadows. So this is case only up to you because uh, it's only up to your scene. And after that, don't forget about the reflection so in lumen yes you should do reflection by yourself so it means uh, you should do it for the each your sequences uh, manually yes this is terrible but it's uh, much uh, saving your pc resources so once you will finish uh, now i'm applying now uh, ultra height and uh, some uh, additional things and now let's go back to, to the filters and here now i will find the hyperlight hyperlight make you cannot see right now on your viewport you will see the differences only when you will render it so just render without hyperlight light and with hyperlight and you will see difference color correction you can use in post-production process but I prefer use it right now because I know wanna use uh, a lot of the Photoshop after that uh, after I mean uh, I will render it because it will take again time why it should use against Photoshop if I can use color correction right on the my screen so here I just playing uh, with the saturation because I don't like when the my Mm, my open set it's really uh, has a lot of the contrast I like when it's uh, a bit a bit less the uh, saturation once you will finish let's make the test render I will use not pretty poster quality I will use only desktop to quality let's save it somewhere and let's uh, let's do it it will be really fast and we will see the result as you can see the result from the viewport and our render viewport it's really different because we have the hyperlight we have the shadows and we have the reflections uh, that's we cannot see on the viewport this is the difference you should always do the some same or some test renders to understand should you reduce something or should you make it more better I mean the more height as you can see my uh, actually my render it's uh, so much black so I want to make it uh, a bit light a bit um, not so dark so uh, and I have only one also one the problem uh, this road bump 
uh, it's actually uh, flying under my road and that was the problem so I'm just trying to rotate it to close this uh, small gap between the my entrance road and my main road so this was my, my this was wrong thing in the what I did in the Revit but we don't have the time to redo it because this is a small thing which we can close by road bam so just play around with that if you have this problem if you don't just skip it once you will finish it let's back to the um, render and we will do the one more uh, one more test render so now i'm checking the just uh, about the my uh, settings and i am in just increasing the gamma because gamma making more light inside your render so let's do the desktop i will override it yes and let's see the result as you can see on the preview, it's uh, become a bit lighter, as you can see. And so this is much better. But uh, now I don't have the uh, so flying the my road bump, so the my um, render it looks ni line, really nice. Okay, I cannot say it's uh, perfect, but it's really nice. Okay, we finish with the first hour. Mm, first our render let's set the other render i want it from the other side and just try choose the same uh, direction and same ilu as you can see it's only one for 1500 millimeter from the my road and it's pretty enough to uh, make your mm, render more realistic so that's what i'm trying to do Mm, let's try to make a uh, focus uh, on the our building so that's why I'm playing with the focal uh, length um, it's the rule you should uh, focusing on the some object but you should keep right on the left side empty so we finish it and let's copy and paste uh, all our settings from the previous uh, previous render because it's pretty same one thing I will change, I will change rotation of the my real sky because we are looking from the other part and I want, I need to rotate or I need to change my real sky map because uh, the shadows it's not uh, like I want. So as you can see this is pretty enough, pretty good, uh, everything in light and we will do the test render right now. So let's go to the render and let's make it desktop view. Uh, I'm creating the new one, new one test too. Uh, let's see. And as you can see, I can see right now it's a bit darkness. Yeah, it looks pretty amazing, but uh, I have really a lot of the dark shadows, like black one shadows. I want to make it a bit lighter gray, something like that. Because uh, you should uh, play around and don't do it uh, too lighter and don't do it too darken. So this is the rule. And what I'm gonna do right now. So let's go back to the, our effects and now I will change the sun. Uh, I will just increase the sun brightness. So as you can see on the viewport, it's looking really terrible. But once we will render, you will see the difference. That's why I'm saying you should render, render, render always because it's two different results from the, your viewport and viewport on the render. As you can see on the viewport on the render, we get a really pretty amazing uh, result because it's not so darkness like before and it's not so light uh, like uh, we can get, I, I don't know if you not will render it. So this is pretty cool and I will leave it like that. So we will go to the other uh, render, now we will go to the inside. So we finish with that one, let's go to the inside, as you can see, do you remember this so far? So we will uh, render with the some angle, maybe uh, this one, but I'm not sure. Let's try it, play around with our camera to get more and more perfect result. Whether you're rendering from the interior, I mean interior, it's a bit too different. Uh, style to render it for example when you have the interior view you can make like skylight uh, so let's do that god light skylight as, as you want so as you can see we have the guide light now and this is really amazing because you can uh, feel it so you can feel it your light it's like volume of your light don't make it a lot just make it like a bit like you can see right now maybe you should make it uh, a bit less than i did but anyway the your um, render will become more natural 
but and this you can use only in some close area for example in forest inside the forest when lighting going uh, in uh, through the uh, leaves or interior but you cannot make it on the for example open field because you not will feel it so as you can see right now i'm just disagreeing it and i can see where lights going how it's uh, you can feel it i mean the value of your lights let's try to render it because the viewport it's one thing the render viewport is other thing so and as you can see uh, yes we have low poly models but we get not bad results so if you will show to your client or for example to your teacher he will understand perfectly what you want to do by materials by for example mass so they will understand it once we will finish let's go to the our backyard so here for example i'm using also the same uh, same settings and as you can see volume uh, volumetric sun it's not cool in outside of our building so it's uh, you, we cannot see the our sky we cannot see it properly what's going on inside your building so that's that's the reason don't use it when you don't need it it's not will make your uh, your render perfect it's make your render terrible use it only where you uh, wanna uh, highlight your light so here i don't so and i will delete it i don't want to use the highlight uh, volumetric light here uh, let's change the uh, our real sky i mean the map we will rotate it because uh, i want to rotate my sun now sun going to the straight away to the my camera but i want to make uh, the light on the my building from the back side for my camera so that's why i'm rotating to looking more nice position and now much the interesting thing we should apply here the uh, our reflection because sun is going from the back side of our camera and uh, it will be reflecting from our glass so this is what i want so i want to make some reflect uh, thing from the my glass on the front of my building we cannot see right now what we will get but uh, once we will start render it not in viewport i mean the, when we will render in uh, our other viewport you will see difference now i'm just rotating the camera because i want to concentrate my view on the this if and uh, just changing the position you can play around with the focal length because uh, when you want uh, making like fish eye you should disincrease it when you want concentrate Concentrating like flatten one you should increase it so let's do the test render so it's already our test render number four and let's see what we get uh, as you know we will get different results from the viewport and as you can see it's really light uh, it's pretty enough details as you can see on the right side on my bbk but my reflection still not working i applying my reflection but it's not working as you can see it actually it's working but not as i want it's not like as i want and that's why I will render it again. But before I will do that, I will change the material. I will go to the build mode and I will go to the material of the my glass and I will increase the reflectivity. And as you can see now, even on the viewport, we can see the reflection. Now it's much, much more than before. So, and let's disincrease a bit opacity because uh, we don't have, we have not uh, so clear glass ever involved. So sometimes it's also have some dirt. So let's make the our first uh, second render and you will see the difference. Now you can see reflection on my glass. As you can see, I can see my traces on the back side of the my camera. So we're done. As you can see, here is my some renders, uh, what I rendered it already. Uh, the pretty nice result. So uh, we didn't spend a lot of the time. If you want to spend a lot of the time, you can use high poly models. You can play around with Photoshop, for example, and you can get more nice result. If you find this interesting, so don't forget about the com comments, likes uh, and share this video. So, but we now switching back to the Revit and we starting to making documentation for our building. Let's do that and see you next time.